professional five years ago. I grew up with a wrestling family. My sister's a wrestler, my husband is a wrestler, so my life has always been tied to wrestling. I've been wrestling for three years now. I train in Calgary under Lance Storm. I began my run in BC and started east into Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and now I'm here in Ontario. I also compete in the US and Japan, but right now I'm focused on being the best in Canada. Crossfire had been in my backyard for five years, but it finally just made sense to come here and sort of defend my home turf. I beat Casey Spinelli for the title and then defended against the longest reigning champion in Crossfire history, Caitlin Diamond. Now that I am here in Ontario, my goal is to capture every championship in the province. I'm new here and people are still getting to know me, so challenging for and winning the Crossfire Women's Championship is going to make an impact and a statement. Giselle came to Ontario with quite a bit of fanfare, and I was offered the match and really wanted to test myself and defend my title. I watched a lot of her matches and she had a lot of weapons to prepare for. She really surprised me with the game plan she actually used in the match. She kept dragging me down to the mat and sort of went with this grinding tactic. And she was really fixated on my arm and worked submissions on it almost the whole time. Bia is a great competitor. Move there by Giselle. You set her up. Her style is very similar to mine. She is a top rope specialist. Dangling there. The game plan was to push the pace with some old school ground and mat wrestling. It definitely caught her off guard and it worked, but she hasn't seen or felt so half of what I can bring into the ring. I'm not underestimating her or anyone, but I am supremely confident in my abilities and I'll be Crossfire Women's Champion on April 22nd. She got that arm bar and I kind of dangled it for her, but she got it in really deep. I was going with a trap and counter for the pin and it worked, but the timing was just a bit off. I had her at the end. I dictated where I wanted the match to go and I had her. Everyone knows I had her. She had no chance of getting out of the arm bar and she tapped out to me. Everyone saw it and she even admits it. I want the win. I thought I won by pinning her. If I could do it again, I would have waited until a split second after the three count. So that was a mistake in strategy and tactics on my part. I'm frustrated at the way it ended. The referee was focused on my shoulders when she was in deep trouble and he should have been protecting her and he missed the tap. Calling it a draw is just a means to cover up a mistake and the commission is going to do what they feel is right, but I don't agree with it. I'm happy to have a rematch. It was a great fight that really took me to my limits and I'm really excited to do it again. I'm happy to do it again so I can show everyone what I can do. I've moved on from the first match and the decision. I'm training for this one hard and I'll be bringing a different game plan, but obviously I can't get into that. I want it to be a secret only for the fans, but for Bia as well. And I think a second match favors me. Oh, that's a I know what she's like now, I know what to look for, and I know I can win and keep my title. She has more experience than I do, but April 22nd, she will experience what it's like to face an angry Giselle Shaw. She will experience defeat and losing a championship. She's going to be a champion someday, but April 22nd is not that day. She still has more to learn, and I'm only happy to school her. I'm not going to leave it up to the ref or the commission this time. And Bia isn't going to have a say in it either. I'm going out there to win decisively and leave no doubt whatsoever. Giselle, you're good, but April 22nd, it's time to pay your dues. Bia, I like you, but I like beating you more.